Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. During the summer, teens can spend a lot more time on the roadway striving to work or to see their friends or just helping out with family chores. And a new study finds a promising trend when it comes to teens in crashes. But there's still some work to be done. Problem solver Susan Hogan has more. Well, there's actually some good news for worried parents out there about their teens behind the wheel. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the number of teens who are dying in deadly accidents is decreasing every single day. It seems like a summer ritual, driving with your windows down, friends in the car, and music playing. While the summer months can often bring higher accident rates on the roads due to such distractions, it seems that teen drivers are becoming more cautious. We've seen really dramatic reductions in teens' fatal crash rates over the last 15 years or so. And we think the biggest factor in that is states passing graduated licensing laws. But new Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Research finds more than 500 additional lives could be saved and almost 10,000 collisions averted if all states strengthen teen driving licensing laws by adopting five standards that would make teens wait longer to get their licenses and place restrictions on new drivers, including a minimum permit age of 16, at least 60 five practice hours, a minimum license age of 17, a night driving restriction beginning at 8 p.m., and a ban on teen passengers. Regardless of state guidelines, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says parents need to carefully gauge whether their teen is ready to get behind the wheel. Still a major concern for all parents is their kids texting or talking on the cell phone while they're driving. But a simple reminder from the parent before their kids get in the car about the dangers of that hopefully will make them think twice. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.